everybody. We are here today to do a review on the Dark Mansion Tarot um, from Taroteca Studios. Uh, I had done a video on this already once. Um, I did an unboxing video and you may have seen it. Um, I took it down. It wasn't representative of what an awesome deck this is. Uh, and um, we had some formatting problems with the with the video and basically it just wasn't what we wanted um, this deck to look like on camera. Um, it wasn't, we, we felt like it wasn't fair to a deck that really has just reached right out and grabbed us. So we're gonna go over it again and this is going to be um, just strictly a review, not really an unboxing. However, we are gonna, you know, just take a look at all of it, all the packaging. Um, so this, this deck, as I said, is from Teroteca Studios. Um, they are located in Poland. Um, so I had to wait about a week and a half for the deck to arrive, but that wasn't uh, too bad. This is the second edition. Um, the first edition had really fancy wooden box and a velvet pouch and all kinds of bells and whistles. Um, this is the, the standard regular um, second edition. Um, and I'm perfectly happy with it. I think it's wonderful. So on the front of the box, as you can see, it's a really soft matte finish um, with uh, gold gilding on the front as accents. You've got your, your wands, your swords, your pentacles, your cups, and third eye. I like the um, way that it's designed. It kind of reminds me of the old fortune teller booths at the fair. So on the back, we just have a, a real uh, brief rundown of what you'll find inside the box, which is 78 beautiful illustrated cards and easy to use uh, 76 by 120 millimeter printed on high quality la silk laminated matte paper. And um, this deck is one of the finest quality decks that I've ever come across. And I'm, I'm not even ashamed to say it. It's just um, everything about the feel of the deck is aesthetically pleasing. So um, it's a flip open uh, box inside. There's a, a little write up from the creators of the desk deck. It says um, the Dark Mansion Tarot regular edition. We were creating this tarot deck for two and a half years, devoting our heart and mind to it. We hope that you will love it as much as we do. Graphic artist Magdalena Kaxen. Production is Ansem Stab substantive consultations Christoph Wasiak um, all rights reserved Teroteca studio so we have um, a beautiful tarot uh, taro, uh, or a title card here um, again the finish on this card I just wish you could feel it just it's like it is like silk and then these are the backs of the cards and I love it they're reversible if you read reversals And the edges of the deck, we're gonna take a look at those, are black gilded. Isn't that sharp? So um, these are, you know, still getting broken. Um, the finish does stick a little bit uh, to each other. However, um, with some time and playing with this deck they are definitely loosening up now I've gone back through and put the deck back in order so that we can take a look at it together that way we can look at it okay so I'm just gonna go over the uh, the major arcana here um, really quickly we're not gonna spend a, a whole long time on each card but um the the artwork is just fascinating on these and you know I, I can't say enough about it they have a very um gothy but whimsical kind of vibe to them if you like Tim Burton um it's very much reminiscent of his style of artwork um so that was one of the things that really appealed to me about that so here we have our fool setting off on his journey teetering on the edge of the cliff the dog is holding on to him pulling him back and i love the the edges of the cards up there you can see the little skulls and bones 
different little skulls and bones and like vine vine work. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Can't say enough about it. All right, here we have our magician in his laboratory. He's the, the spark, the creator, the beginning. The high priestess sitting on her throne. The empress. The higher front. Now I really like this card too with it showing the pillars and he's got the staff and his scepter and then the two subjects are kneeling before him and you can see the keys. Um, so these do follow a, um, a Rider Waite uh, classic imagery so they They'll be easy to read if you're familiar with the Rider Waite deck. And there's also a lot of um, intuition that can be pulled from the artwork as well. So, the levers. That card reminds me of the Corpse Bride. Mm, weeping Angel. Maybe a little bit of a Doctor Who vibe. <laughs> I love it. The Chariot. Black horse and your white horse. Strength. The hermit. The wheel of fortune. And this is an interesting choice for the wheel of fortune. You have the sun and the moon opposing here and you have the whole thing set in a ferris wheel so all your elements you've got fire water earth sky everything encompassed justice their eyes closed The hanged man. Our hanged man appears to be a vampire. You see his fangs. He's hanging upside down with his bats. Looking at things from a new perspective. Death. Oh, the imagery on these cards. I just can't get over it. And I gotta tell you, I have done um, a reading off of these cards once already. I've also um, used them in a, a teaching um, tarot lesson. We do Tarot Tuesdays on my page, um, Card Crystals Candles. And um, it's, it's, gotten, it's gotten a lot of positive feedback. The, the deck, uh, I've bonded with it very quickly. The energies that it picks up give a very true reading. I really, really love this deck. Some prints. The devil. We have a, looks like a female devil. Ooh, she looks like a bad bitch. Don't mess with her. The tower. I like this representation of the tower. We have the traditional lightning and fire, people falling. Good stuff. The star. The moon. The 
the sun. Judgment. Looks like a party and everybody's invited. The world. Got everybody represented there. All right, so now we're into the minor arcana. And we see our wand suit. Two of wands. Five of Wands, it's a good job depicting the chaos of the Five of Wands. Constant conflict and battle. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands, stand your ground. Eight of Wands, <laughs> the Fast and the Furious. Nine of Wands, why so grumpy? Ten of Wands. cards, page of wands, the knight of wands, that horse does not look happy about going into battle, he's like, whoa, Nelly, the queen of wands, look how vivid the colors are, it's just, man, gorgeous, King of Wands. Look at the expression on his face. He's a serious dude. Now we've got our cups. I love this cup. Look at that cup. It is bling. Bling cup. I like the dragonfly too. Cups represent our water sign. Communication. Ideas flowing freely. Two of cups. Two apples, two doves, two people, two cups. Three of cups. Four of Cups. I think what I like the best about this suit is that they could all be at the same party. These guys are out on the balcony. These guys are over by the food table. This is Mr. Wallflower. He's probably upset her. Five of Cups. Regret. Moss. Six of Cups. Nostalgia, reminiscing. She's holding a portrait in her hand. The portrait's on the wall. Time for reunion. Seven of Cups. 
I love all the things that are depicted here. So many choices. Look at all those things. Make your decision wisely. Eight of Cups. Letting go. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Oh, look at the whole family together. That's just great. It's a picnic. Look at the puppy. He's so cute. And then our Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. This knight's a little more trepidatious about where he's headed. Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups. There's a wise man there. All right. Sorry, it's a thing. So now we've got the swords. Powerful sword. Two of swords. Again, you, you see the, the common re, you know, repeating uh, Rider Waite symbology, the blindfold, the crossed swords. Here's the three of swords, piercing a heart, heartbreak, loss. Four of swords. Five of swords. You can see, even see just from the the dark clouds, the dark tone that the fives take on. Not so subtle imagery. Six of Swords. Now I like this Six of Swords um, more so than the Rider White one because we're seeing a, a face on view instead of from behind. Um, in the typical Rider Waite standard deck, um, you see the back of the ferryman, you see the back of the woman and the back of a child, and the swords are uh, positioned around her such that uh, three are behind her, one is directly in front of her, and two are off to the side. Um, and in this one, we're, we're seeing the expressions on their faces, the expectancy, the um, that sense of adventure, wide-eyed awe, uh, looking forward to where they're going. Seven of Swords. Deceit, thievery, theft of ideas, someone manipulating and working against you, things not appearing what they seem. The Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. I like the way that this one is depicted with the nightmare and the swords as the teeth. Her eyes covered, hiding. That's probably one of my favorite uh, renditions of this card, actually. Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. 
This is another favorite. Sword in one hand. I love the butterfly necklace. I love the Victorian collar. I just, I love the sternness of it. And the colors too. Ah, awesome. She's definitely married to that guy, is she not? King of Swords. All right, finally, final suit, Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> we see that infinity symbol, the constant struggle, trying to keep them in the air. Three of Pentacles. I like that depiction of that card, too. Four of Pentacles. Mine, mine, mine. I have it, I want it, it's mine. Five of Pentacles. Now this is classic writer weight imagery here. The elderly man on crutches and the child, orphan child traveling behind, leaving a poor little starving kitty cat there, and the stained glass, which we've come to associate with this card. You can almost feel that snow blowing around. <laughs> Her. Six of pounds. Seven of Pentacles. That's a happy card. And in this one, you know, you can tell the earth suits too because they're really heavy on the green tones. Let's just kind of take a look at that. Lots of, lots of green in the background. The Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Look at the bird. So cute. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Look at the lush fields behind him. And the flowers. The Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. The rich robes with the jewels and the carved wood behind her. That is just, wow, look at that. It's just amazing. Love it, love it. And the King of Pentacles is the final card. All right. So that is the Dark Mansion Tarot by Teroteca Studios. Again, go to their website, check it out. The second edition of the cards um, is still available for purchase. These shuffle really good too. So that's even though they, they have that matte finish where they kind of stick when it comes to riffling them, they'll, they'll definitely shuffle good. If only I were a good shuffler. leave you with the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Definitely check out this deck. You will not be disappointed. Worth every penny. Worth the wait. Getting it from 
Poland again probably took me about seven days to get the deck here from over there but that's not bad and um, I just I can't say enough good things about this deck this deck is incredible awesome go check it out everybody have a great night